Hi, I'm Amanda Lang. Welcome to the National Mobile. Let's start with our top stories as of 5 p.m. Eastern Tuesday. Toronto Mayor Rob Ford returned to City Hall today, although in a much more limited role. Yesterday, City Council voted to further limit Ford's authority. The mayor has lost more than half his staff and most of his executive powers, which now rest with the deputy mayor. Dr. George Dudnot has been found guilty of sexually assaulting 21 women while they were under sedation. Dudnot was accused of kissing, fondling and performing other sexual acts on patients at North York General Hospital. His lawyer argued the women were actually having vivid dreams while under sedation. The Crown rejected those arguments, calling Dudnot a sexual opportunist who was known for being touchy-feely. At least 23 people are dead after two explosions hit the Iranian embassy today in Beirut. Local reports say one of the blasts was caused by a suicide bomber, the other by a car bomb. A jihadist group linked to al-Qaeda has claimed responsibility for the attack. In Cairo today, police used tear gas to break up clashes between pro- and anti-military protesters in Tahrir Square. The two groups were marking the second anniversary of the 2011 revolution that killed more than 40 people. A memorial to those casualties was vandalized just a day after it was inaugurated. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation. Today marks the 150th anniversary of one of the most famous speeches in American history, the Gettysburg Address by President Abraham Lincoln. Filmmaker Ken Burns brought together President Barack Obama, former presidents and celebrities to recite the address. The film is part of the Learn the Address project encouraging Americans to learn the speech.